how does a data table work as you use a SIP map? This is Brian Putt. Today we're going to present a presentation by Dr. Sam Savage, Executive Director of Probability Management. The data table is central to the SIP math system. However, you do not need to know how to create data tables on your own because the SIP math tools automate the process. However, we have found that an understanding of the underlying concept is useful for those using SIP math. You know, suppose you have a model and it has a number in it I'm going to call x, which is equal to 1. There's a function in it, f of x, which is equal to x times 2. Someone comes to you and says, I want you to give me f, but I want you to do it where x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And so one way to do this is you'd say, I've got x equal to 1. I copy that. I go over here. I go paste special values. How many people have done this ever in their life? And then I set x equal to 2. And I go copy. And I go paste special values. Come on, admit it. Who's done this? Are we having fun yet? No, we're not having fun. This is tedious. Watch what the data table does. Up here, I type equals that cell. Then I select the whole shoot and match, and I go to data, what if analysis, data table. You would never figure out how to do this on your own. This is why so few people use this. First thing it says is row input cell. Well, you don't have a row input cell, so it asks you a question you don't know how to answer, and you don't need to answer, and so you quit. Then it says column input cell. What this should have said here is what cell should I plug this column of data into while recalculating this cell, but they didn't have room to write that, so they just wrote column input cell. But the column input cell is in fact x because i want to plug this column of numbers into x while recalculating that i click ok boom it's done and what if i replace this with x not times two but raised to the second power what if i replace this with the sign of that Oops, sign of that thing oh and let's raise that to the fourth power so the data table vectorizes Excel. It vectorizes it by running the vector of X values into that cell while recalculating any output. So because I can have I can have G of X, G of X over here, which is five times F of X. But but now watch this. This is an array formula. So if I try to delete something, it'll say, can't change part of a table. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to add g of x as a second uh, output, but now I have to reselect the whole table and go to what if analysis, data table, and the column input cell is x. But now I've got f and g. In SIP math, the data table is automatically set up for you on the sheet called PM table when you initialize a model. The column input cell is called PM index in cell A1, and the vector of numbers that go into it are in column B. To learn more about SIP math, go to www.probabilitymanagement.org. Here you can download a free copy of the SIP math tools and see many applications of SIPBAP as presented by Dr. Sam Savage. Thank you for watching.